Hello everybody, my name is Vinay Jacob John. Please visit my two websites jesushealsministries.org and also prayintongues.org. Today we are going to read about marriage, the church of Jesus and Jesus Christ. Let's turn to the book of Proverbs in the Old Testament of the Holy Bible. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 22. Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good woman and obtaineth favor of our Lord God Jehovah. Proverbs chapter 19 House and riches are the inheritance of our Lord God Jehovah and a prudent wise wife is from our Lord Jesus Christ. Also Isaiah 54 verse 5 For thy maker Jehovah is thine husband. The Lord of hosts, Jehovah Jireh, is your name, Jesus. And thy Redeemer, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Holy One of Israel. The God of the whole earth, Jehovah, shall you be called, Jesus. Malachi chapter 2, verse 14. Because the Lord God Jehovah has been witness between thee and the wife of thy youth, against whom thou hast dealt treacherously, yet she is your companion and the wife of your covenant. Verse 15. And did not Jesus make one, yet had he the residue of the Spirit? And wherefore one, that he might seek a godly seed? Therefore take heed to your spirit, and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. Verse 16, For the Lord Jehovah, the God of Israel, Jesus says that Jehovah hates putting away or divorce. For one covereth violence with his garment, saith the Lord of hosts. Therefore take heed to your spirit, that ye deal not treacherously. In other words, be kind and loving towards your wife. Always understanding, always forgiving, always loving, in the name of Jesus Christ for Nazareth. Also, Ephesians chapter 5 in the New Testament of the Holy Bible. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. Husbands, love your wives even as Jesus Christ of Nazareth also loved us all, Jesus' church. And gave Jesus, you gave yourself for us all. Verse 26. That you, Jesus, might sanctify or set apart as holy and cleanse us with the washing of water by your word. O Lord Jesus, you are the word of our living God, Jehovah. Verse 27. That Jesus may present us to Jesus' self a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing but that we should be holy and without blemish. Verse 30, For we are members of your body, Jesus, of your flesh, Jesus, and of your bones, Jesus. Verse 31, For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. Verse 32, This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning the marriage between Christ Jesus of Nazareth and the church, all of us here on planet Earth and in heaven above and those who are in hell below. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4 Marriage is honorable in all people and the marriage bed undefiled or kept pure. But homeowners and adulterers, God, our Lord God Jehovah will judge. Thank you everybody for listening to me today. Please visit my friend's website, Jesse Duplantis Ministries, my friend and partner in the Gospel of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jesse Duplantis Ministries, www.jdn.org, and also Christians United for Israel, www.cufi.org. Please visit my two websites, jesushealsministries.org and also prayingtongues.org. Jesus loves us all, Jesus heals us all, Jesus provides for us all, always, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Amen.